Okay. We'll make a nice change having you with us tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure Debbie feels the same, though. You be nice to that girl. She deserves a good Christmas. Yeah, all right. See ya. Hello, brother. You've seen him, then? Yes. I'm fine, thanks. I've had a very good trip. How are you? Just get inside and let's hope he doesn't find out what you did. Come on, Odin. Why are you putting marmalade on it? That's a flaming question. What are you doing, Todd? I'm you. I'm giving this ham a spiced marmalade glaze with a hint, let me just check, of ginger. Mmm. Mmm. It's an awful lot of effort for someone who's going to be spending crimbo and not in general, isn't it? Uh, no, he is not. No, I'm not, because you are staying out of Kane's way today, right? That's the idea, yeah. And you've now to worry about. It's me here, it's not you. Yeah, well, let's not forget who's house you're in, eh? I can handle Kane. Mm. Can you wait? Look, I, I promise you I am going to keep it all calm. You'll hardly know that I'm here. I doubt that. Oh, Sarah believes me, don't you, sweetheart? I drew this for you. What's that for me? What as beautiful is that? Look at that, eh? Don't bring her into this. Look. <sighs> Wouldn't you put me on probation? If I mess up, you can kick me out again. Prove to me that the money isn't important. Prove to me that you and Mum can be in the same room without attacking each other. But he's a cake. Put a foot wrong and you're out the door. Deal. Right. Now, where are them mince pies, eh? Hmm? Can I go to Bell's now? Well, I thought you were going to help me with the sprouts. I'll do them. And then afterwards we can get one of our best board games from the cupboard. Yeah, and then let's sit around the piano and do carols. Are you joking, Dad? <laughs> Mother, did you remember the cranberry sauce? Every year we seem to forget it. One year I forgot the cranberry sauce. I just want Christmas to be perfect. Where's Maisie? She's still in bed. Marvellous. Well, uh, a board game is out, so how about an Xbox tournament? Um, yeah. I'm going to go to Bell's and see her get her ears pierced. What? <laughs> well, Nathan might join us. Dad, Nathan won't. <laughs> Mark, what is with the doting daddy routine? We're all going to be spending the day together tomorrow and we're all going to have a fabulous time, OK? I know, but... Who is that now? Oh, who is it? Oh, Mickey Spencer saying we must do it again sometime. Sprouts. Edna a present. Yeah, and look what Santa brought us for Christmas. <laughs> Morning. Mm, can we send it back? <laughs> Very funny. Now then, I've shut up shop for the holidays, so is it too early for a drink? Yes, and can you go away, please? Why, what have I done? Nothing as far as I know, but you'll see your present. Yeah, all right, but for the record, I wrapped mine in here them ages ago. Brew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I found them and worked out what they were ages ago and all that. <laughs> hey, you. You all right? Mm-hmm. We head back here. Yeah? Just seen him. You are? Well, what happened? Nothing happened. Can we go somewhere quiet, please, and talk? Oh, if we're out of sellotape, I'll get some. Oh, Chaz. Not now. Oh, what a touching homecoming. Oh, wait. I've got a tear in my eye. Leave it, Nicola. Get out! So, you, um, got anything special for me? Well, I didn't know you were going to be here, did I? Oh, yeah, good point. Mmm. Hey, nice mince pies. You make this, eh, Sarah? No, it's from the shop. Yeah, I know. I... <sighs> what are you doing? Nothing. You're looking for the money, aren't you? So you behaved yourself for what, five minutes? I'm just making sure we've got enough alcohol in. You and Mum are going to act civilised, right? Right. You let her back in your life, you're going to get hurt. It's not like I think she's turned into a saint, but she gave the money away and she got a job at the factory. She's trying. Yeah. And that's always worked out great in the past, hasn't it? Just keep your promise. Thank you. 
Wait, wait. There. Mm. Happy Christmas, darling. Happy Christmas. I'm afraid I'm not quite entering into the spirit. I understand. I tried to get Will to spend time with me this morning. He wasn't interested. Well, he doesn't know how important it is for you. On the one hand, I want tomorrow to be wonderful for all concerned. And yet on the other, it's like I've got a great weight hanging over me. Then think beyond tomorrow. One day, not too far away, this will all be behind us. The kids will have come to terms with everything and we'll be living a new life. Yeah. That's it, yeah, roll it out nice and flat. <laughs> Can Samson help? Oh, well, you don't want to go and catch his cold. Let him rest. <laughs> aye, aye. Now, how's that pig? She's fine. I'm just giving her some wormer. Uh, the bill's out. You'll stop for a drink, eh? Oh, I will, actually. Yeah, seeing as you'll have my last call. We should call the equipment so you can get your ears pierced at the same time. Eh? Oh, I don't think so. Your mum and dad won't be too happy if you went home with holes in your lobes. <laughs> so you think girls can get their ears pierced, but boys can't? Oh, I'm not getting into a chat with you two about the difference between boys and girls and all that palaver. <laughs> Know the difference between boys and girls? Oh, well, happen you do. <laughs> but the point is, uh, you'll need to ask your parents if you want it doing. Um, I don't. You, what are we talking about it for then? Why not? You ask. Hmm? When's Del coming? Oh, soon. <laughs> Look, uh, go and feed Amish or something. I want to talk to Paddy. Come on. Mm. <laughs> do you think Aaron was ever a happy. Sweet little kid like Belle. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. And don't forget to put a carrot out for Rudolph. Will Father Christmas know where I am? Oh, yes, don't you worry. He'll find you. Gabby, Father Christmas always comes to me first. I'll make sure he knows where you are. You'll ah. give Laurel my love, won't you? Yeah, of course I will. And mine. Bye. Bye-bye, darling. Daddy will bring you my present in the morning, all right? OK. Bye. I'll call you in the morning, as soon as Santa's been, find out what he's brought you. All right? Bye. Bye-bye, my love. Bye-bye. No. no, I think they have. Listen, seriously, Marlon, I reckon you've ruined that ham. Oh, it's still going on about that. You're a culinary philistine. But Mam laid on ham. Just can't keep away, can you? Come on, mate. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm not going to start anything. Well, neither am I, so that's all right then, isn't it? Lovely. So, let's all go and have a drink. See so you weaseling your way back into a life. If you mean trying to make it up to my daughter, then yes, I am. Got to hand it to you. You're playing a very clever game this time. Right, now, come on, I've got two words for both of you. Christmas, flaming spirit. That's free, isn't it? Get me a drink, you? Charity. Go. I'd... I really fell in love with you. You need to understand one thing. I am never, ever going to be fooled by you again. I fell in love with you. I must have been off my head. But it don't matter now, anyway. I'm here for Debbie. And unlike you, I want to be around if she needs me. Where do you get off talking to me like that? I stood by her for months. Yeah? Well, when you were off God knows where getting drunk and sulking, it was me who got Carl King off her back. What? Yeah! He came barging in after his cash. I stepped in, stopped him from almost giving Debbie a beating. Me! And where were you then, eh? Hey?